Hello, and welcome to the Mile High Skill Modeler channel. This is part two of the 41 Plymouth Rebuilder in a series I call Rebuilding a Rebuilder. In this video, I will continue where I left off in part one with sanding the CA glue filler, priming the body, disassembling the interior for refinishing, and removing those pesky injector pin marks in the interior tub and on the headliner. Let's look over the body with my first pass on sanding down the filler on the rear of the body and where we will continue with the remaining filler that needs to be sanded. Now that we've had a good look of the overall body, let's start sanding the parts that still need to be sanded where the CA glue filler still exists. Sanding the CA glue filler, I usually start with 220 or 320 grit, depending on how convex the CA glue filler is. I then move to a 400 and then an 800 to sand off the remaining CA glue filler before I reprime the body. I always check where I sand and make sure it's smooth. If it is smooth, then I move on to the next place to start sanding. I always enjoy hearing from my viewers and subscribers. So if you can, in the comments below, please put any tips and tricks you have for filling gaps on a body or seams and what fillers you use to fill those seams or gaps. Here I look over the body and make sure everything is smooth where I sanded. There's no gaps that still need to be filled or any convex CA glue filler still existing. With that I look it over and make sure fitment is still where it needs to be and then this body is ready for the first coat of primer. Alright now that we have gone through the sanding process I think it's a good place to start removing the headliner mold lines before we primer the body to see any imperfections still. I see a lot of modelers dry sand or wet sand the injector pin marks. I however use Tamiya Extra Thin to soften the convex injector pin marks. I then use a chisel to get most of the injector pin marks removed and then sand with 600 grit sandpaper. This helps so my hands do not cramp up. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like. In this video sequence, you're just seeing me remove one pin injector mark from the headliner. However, once the first layer of primer is done, you'll see where I progressed with this. Here we have the body in its first prime stage. There is still some sanding that needs to be done on the front of the body and some other imperfections I didn't initially see. On the headliner, you can see some of the parts where I missed or did not sand enough in removing the injector pin marks. This is why I primer to see where I still need to work on. Most of my builds require two to three layers of primer. Between each primer, I sand any imperfections or issues that I find. Once I have my final primer laid down, 
I sand up to 6,000 and then the body's ready for paint. Moving to the end here, I was able to take it apart for restoration and fix some issues. Here you can see what it looked like prior to me breaking it down. Looking over the front seat bench, I see there are gaps in the seat that need to be filled to show no seam. I also remove the sewing pins on the interior and will look for something else to put in its place to resemble buttons. The dash is in pretty good condition. When removing the steering column, a piece broke on the column mount. I had to re-glue that in place. For the interior tub, I use the same steps with Tamiya Extra Thin to remove the injector pinholes on the floorboard and on the rear seats along with some light sanding. The floorboard will be flocked so it won't be noticeable that I did any work on the floorboard. I had to sand more of the rear seat to make it level and more appealing to the eyes. I remove the speakers and the door panels and we'll add them back in for final assembly. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoy this video and smash that subscribe button to help my channel grow and allow for more viewers to find it. If you are a subscriber or a new subscriber, please hit the notification bell to be notified on when I release new videos in the future.